Hello, Tante, et toi, bonjour. June 21st is National Indigenous Peoples Day. This is a day for all Canadians to recognize and celebrate the unique heritage, diverse cultures, and outstanding contributions of First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people. For generations, many Indigenous peoples and communities have celebrated their culture and heritage on or near this day due to the significance of the summer solstice as the longest day of the year. Due to the seriousness of the COVID-19 crisis, the Government of Canada invites Canadians to celebrate this year's National Indigenous History Month and National Indigenous Peoples Day at home. Keep yourself, your family, and your community safe by following instructions from health officials and other trusted, reliable sources. Le 21 juin est la Journée Nationale des Peuples Autochtones. C'est une occasion spéciale de souligner pour tous les Canadiens le patrimoine unique, la diversité culturelle et les réa réalisations remarquables des Premières Nations, des Inuits et des Métis. Pendant des générations, de nombreux groupes et collectivités autochtones ont célébré leur culture et leur patrimoine à cette date ou à cette période de l'année étant donné la signification que revêt le solstice d'été, le jour plus, le plus long de l'année. En raison de la gravité de la crise de la COVID-19, le gouvernement du Canada invite les Canadiens à célébrer le mois national de l'histoire autochtone et la journée nationale des peuples autochtones à la maison. Assurez votre propre sécurité ainsi que celle de votre famille et de votre communauté en suivant les instructions des responsables de la santé et d'autres sources fiables. Good afternoon and welcome to our virtual National Indigenous Peoples Day celebration. My name is Hannah Nash and as the Region 4 Youth Representative for the Métis Nation of Alberta and a student at the University of Alberta studying Native Studies and Political Science, I have the honour of co-emceeing with Alberta's National Indigenous Peoples Day Chairperson, Heather Patras. Bonjour et bienvenue à notre Journée Nationale des Autochtones 2020. Mon nom est Hannah Nash et je suis la représentative des Jeunes pour Région 4 de la Nation Métis de l'Alberta. Je suis aussi un étudiant à l'Université d'Alberta. J'étudie les études autochtones et les sciences politiques. Aujourd'hui, j'ai l'honneur d'être un des animateurs pour la Journée nationale des autochtones pour l'Alberta avec notre président, Heather Patras. Before we begin any Indigenous gathering, we always have an opening prayer. This year's spiritual leader, Heather Patras, will be doing it for us. At this time, we ask that you remove your headwear and glasses. Début chaque réunion, on toujours commence avec une prière de vêtement. Notre chef aujourd'hui va être Heather Patras. Pour le moment, on demande que vous retirez votre chapeau et votre lunette. Heather is one of the only Indigenous federal employees who has been involved with National Indigenous Peoples Day in a leadership role since it was declared in 1996. She is both proud and honored to serve as National Indigenous Peoples Day chairperson of the Alberta region. This year marks her 25th National Indigenous Peoples Day celebration. I just want to welcome you today to our celebration in a very unique situation as we're celebrating it through a virtual means. It's also a time for Canadians to learn the true history of Canada as we come together on the path of healing through reconciliation and ask all of you to stay at home, stay safe and be healthy. Aye hai. Thank you, Creator. Thank you for another day. Thank you for my family and my friends. Thank you for all that I have. Thank you for the many blessings you have given me. Thank you for all that we have as Indigenous people, the original people of this country. I want to give thanks for this day of recognition, National Indigenous Peoples Day, a day for Canadians to learn about our true history, to learn about our culture, and to have respect for us as the original people of this country. I want to give thanks again for all that we have and the blessings, even during this difficult time, that we're still learning many things and have many gifts 
and the importance of humans connecting on different levels and in different ways. Special prayers for those that are struggling out there, those that are suffering during this time. Creator asks that you help them to get the help that they need, that they too can find some peace. Aye, hai. Thank you, Heather, for your powerful resiliency in helping our community heal. We truly appreciate your many contributions over all of these years and making our future brighter. The pivotal, most exciting, and spectacular part of the First Nations gathering is the grand entry, when the dancers enter the arena. Following cultural protocol, the celebration always begins with grand entry. I want to introduce Adrienne Lachance, who is going to give a brief teaching on the grand entry and lead it carrying the Eagle Staff. Maintenant, je veux introduire Adrienne Lachance. Uh, originally from James Smith Cree Nation in Saskatchewan. I'm here to talk about uh, the Grand Entry, why we have it, why it's such an important part of our heritage and our connection to the land. The Grand Entry is a, is a procession and it, we follow uh, that symbol of peace, the Eagle Staff. Traditionally it was a spear, but now we, we bent it to symbolize we need to talk, we need to uh, share our understanding of peace for what that is, which is a gift from the Creator. So when we're all dancing in, it's those uh, eagle staff, and then it's the, the flags, the representing flags, and then it's usually the, the dignitaries and the royalty. So it's usually the power committee or people that organize the, the event or the celebration. And then we have our princesses that are representing their beautiful nation. And then we have our beautiful golden age men dancers, the men's traditional. And then from us, it's the, what we call the women's uh, golden age. They dance right behind the men's traditional. And again, it's those grandmothers, those, those senior dancers, the knowledge keeper. And then from that, we have the, the men's chicken, the, the men's grass, and then the men's fancy. And then we have the women's category. So the way I was taught as a warrior, we're making sure that, uh, you know, the ground is, is, is good. There's nothing that they can trip over and making sure that people see us as, as the warriors that we're protecting our women. So that's why we go in first to make sure everything is safe and sound before our women come in. So then the women come in, we have our women's traditional, we have the women's jingle, which comes from out east, and then we have the women's fancy. We have our, our, our senior adults, our junior adults, our teen division, and then our junior division. And of course, we save the best for last. We have our tiny tots, the youngest of the young, and we honor that Eagle Staff, and we, re we remember also our veterans that have passed on, that uh, fought really hard for us to maintain this way of life. And we dance in a circle. And if you've ever seen some drones now, they, they, they fly above, and they see that movement, you know, just like the earth travels around the sun, how important movement is. In the grand entry, we want to acknowledge the following. Adrian Lachance carrying the Eagle Staff. The thunder beings came and visited us as, uh, as I was dancing, the rain, for me, I always welcome the rain and give thanks for it because it uh, represents healing. Chuck Isaacs carrying the Aboriginal Veteran Society flag. <laughs> Heather Patras carrying the Canadian flag. <laughs> Jason Callahu of the Michelle Band carrying the National Indigenous Peoples Day flag. Corbin Cardinal of the Saddle Lake Cree Nation, carrying the Treaty 6 flag. Inuit Elder Edna Elias, carrying the Nunavut flag. Boomer Kiwatin of the Okanese First Nations, Saskatchewan. 2020 graduate, carrying the Alberta flag. Carrying the Métis flag is Akira Ayatel. Once again, following cultural protocol, Adrian Lachance will sing an honor song for us. Encore, suivant le protocole culturel, Adrian Lachance va chanter une chanson d'honneur um, pour nous aujourd'hui. So, uh, this is a song that I, I really enjoy singing, 
and it helps and reminds me that uh, you know we're we're not alone, and to always remember that our ancestors are just with us. Sometimes we just have to close our eyes and we can visualize them with us, beside us, near us. Ya ra ya ra ra ya ra ra Thank you, Adrian, for your many years of support providing Indigenous awareness in the Edmonton and area. Um, Merci, Adrian, pour tous la soutien au cours de ces années. Le support que tu avais nous fourni est très apprécié. Another part of our tradition is singing our national anthem. We are pleased that Danita Large and her daughter Hayden will be singing O Canada in French, English, and Cree. Danita Large of the Saddle Lake First Nation has 22 years of professional singing. In August 2020, Danita is set to release her gospel al album Moose Mountain Stew as a tribute to her grandparents. Her nine-year-old daughter, Hayden Large, is Cree Mohawk with origins in Saddle Lake and Michelle Band. Une autre partie de notre tradition est de chanter notre hymne national. On est heureux de vous introduire Donita Large et sa fille, Hayden, qui vont chanter au Canada en anglais, français et cri. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true Ton bras s'est porté les pieds, il s'est porté la croix. Ton histoire est une épopée, des plus brillants exploits.
Wow, that was amazing. Thank you, Donnie Dunn, Hayden. I really look forward to the future and hearing what Hayden can do for us. Very amazing and really talented, so thank you. We are grateful for our Indigenous veterans who played a significant role in our history. Some served as code talkers using their First Nations languages to communicate with each other. Good afternoon, my name is Chuck Isaac, Sergeant Retired. I am the current president of the Aboriginal Veterans Society of Alberta. It has been a great pleasure for us to be involved in National Indigenous Peoples Day since its inception in 1996. I feel it's important to have veterans part of, of any gathering because we represent the veterans of the past, the warriors of the past, and the great Aboriginal warrior culture. Thank you, Chuck Isaacs, for your messages today. Next, I'd like to introduce our leaders who are going to be speaking on behalf of the federal family. First, we will have Indigenous Services Canada Regional Director General, Jamie Brown. The theme of power of resiliency through healing is apt this year as we deal with COVID-19. 2020 has and continues to highlight the enduring confrontation with the past. The late Gord Downey once said, we are not the country we thought we were. History will be rewritten. I don't think rewritten is the correct term, but rather, I hope, written honestly, without agenda, for the first time as we move forward together. And it is the Indigenous voices and their drums that will continue to drive change that we all know is still desperately needed. Today, we are all fortunate to each play our small role in advancing reconciliation and offering the critical services to our nations as they continue their path to self-determination. Thank you, Jamie, for those inspiring words. Now, we will have Regional Executive Officer of First Nation and Inuit Health Branch, Rhonda Labakan. Rhonda, originally from Woodland Cree, truly serves as an inspirational role model for our Indigenous community. Happy National Indigenous Peoples Day 2020. Jamie and I are honoured to speak with you today from Treaty 6 territory, my home to be exact. This year has truly been one for the books, and while we are not able to celebrate National Indigenous Peoples Day in person, we encourage everyone to celebrate the day at home or remotely with family and friends. If you are looking for resources to read and share, CBC and the Government of Canada developed an Indigenous reading list which can be found by searching hashtag Indigenous Reads on social media. While we have seen great progress, strength, resiliency and passion working collaboratively with our First Nations partners across the province, there is still a considerable way to go on the path to self-determination. Thank you to all the performers and speakers providing a glimpse into the richness and beauty of Indigenous culture in Alberta. The resilience has been highlighted by the use of technology to make this all happen, and we are grateful for your flexibility. Hi, hi. Thank you, Rhonda, for those words. The current situation that we are in with COVID-19 has impacted the entire world. It is a sign that we need healing. First Nations people have practiced ceremonies for healing since time immemorial. One of the ceremonies we have is the Jingle Dress Healing Dance. Amanda Lamoth, an Indigenous Awareness Facilitator, dancer and flutist, will provide brief teachings on this dance for us today. To share my story about the Jingle Dress, powwow dancing for me is a healing, it's a prayer. We hear that drum, that heartbeat, and it reminds us why we're alive. And so as a Jingle Dress dancer, I am honoured and I take pride in putting the dress on. So each time I put anything onto my dress, it's a prayer. And I think of those things. I think of the people and the elders that have helped me. I think of all the stories. The designs that you use in your dress tell a story about who you are. And of course, the teepee is where our family use, used to live. And so the teepee is representing the family. And so my family is my priority. So I've beaded the, the teepee. And these colors are like the fire that keeps us alive. The beautiful colors that you see in the sky upon the new day and at sunset. So I'm grateful today to be able to dance.
Just wanted to give thanks to Amanda Lamut and to Saddle Lake Tiny Tot Princess, who had performed for us, as you've seen with the Jingle Dress Dance, uh, in our efforts to help with healing with our current situation. So again, thank you, Amanda and Kiana. It is my true honor to introduce our next speaker, Métis Nation of Alberta President Audrey Patras, who is one of the highest profile Métis women in Canada. She has served in her, this role since she was first elected in 1996. As the first female president, she remains a key figure among Canada's political leaders. Nous sommes fiers de vous présenter notre prochaine oratrice, Audrey Patras, la présidente de la Nation Métis d'Alberta. Greetings and welcome from the Métis Nation of Alberta to all who are participating in this virtual event to celebrate National Indigenous Peoples Day. As proud Métis First Nations and Inuit people and proud Canadians, it is important to celebrate National Indigenous History Month and National Indigenous Peoples Day, a time set aside to recognize all the contributions and accomplishments of Indigenous people in this country. Even in a global pandemic, it is important to find moments of joy and to celebrate the diversity of Canada's Indigenous people. Please enjoy, share, and learn today. Thank you. I want to give thanks to our President of the Métis Nation of Alberta, Audrey Patra. Thank you for those amazing words. As a long-standing female Indigenous leader, you truly serve as a role model. Thank you for all that you have done. I am pleased to introduce Joshua Morin, Métis, Métis Cultural Connections' Joshua Morin, who is going to share a brief message in Métis and then share some of his Red River Jigging talents. C'est ma plaisir de vous introduire Joshua Morin. Ils vont nous présenter un petit message dans Métif et puis nous montrer la Red River Jig. Mio Nashkatuk, Tanche Kiwao, Josh Mornishinikashun. Welcome. Two ways you can say um, National Indigenous Peoples Day or Indigenous Peoples Day. Uh, le jour de Nishtam Lamon, le jour de Aishino. Three other words I would like to share. Um, that are quite important right now would be the words uh, ki keo, which means heal, um, and andan ayatak, which is stay inside, um, and then of course the most important word in our Michif language, um, ki shakitin, which is I love you. So That's what you call Métis aerobics. Thank you, Josh, for your wonderful uh, Métis jigging presentation and your Métis message. So again, thank you. Of Nunavut, thank you for helping us today, Edna. As much as Canadians celebrate Canada Day, we celebrate on both occasions on Canada Day with hot dogs and marshmallows, with feasts of country food, drum dancing, singing, and lots of happiness all around as we share the celebra in the celebration. Inuit Nunavun Mute, I'm a Ving Mingne, Nuna Mingne, Koviahu Tigivagat, Inuit Nunavun Mute, Ubloa, July 9. Thank you, Elder Elias. Thank you for all that you have done to support Indigenous awareness in Edmonton and throughout Canada. I want to thank you for joining us today. It was a privilege to co-MC with Heather Patras. Heather is one of the only federal employees who has been involved with National Indigenous Peoples Day in a leadership position since it was declared in 1996. She is both proud and honored to serve as the National Indigenous Peoples Day chairperson for the Alberta region. She strives to ensure that there is Indigenous content in all that she does. Heather is well respected amongst the federal family and the Indigenous community. Heather will now provide the closing remarks. Joyeuse Journée Nationale des Peuples Indigènes. 
and happy National Indigenous Peoples Day. In closing, I'd like to give thanks to the Crater for another day. I'd like to give thanks to all of those people that made this possible. This is a true example of reconciliation, that when we come together, we can walk forward together on the path of healing. I look forward to the future, for our children are our future, that we can look at them as an example with their positive energy, that we do have a bright future together. And I also look forward to next year, that it's the 25th anniversary of the official signing of the proclamation. So again, I give you thanks for being part of our virtual presentation today. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And I really look forward to what we can do together in the future. Aye hai. Happy National National Indigenous Indigenous People's Day. Thank you.